five. Today, the town of Searcy and across White County, we've seen beautiful spring skies and the temperatures have not been far behind. Across the state today, temperatures mostly from around 75 to 80 degrees. Around Little Rock, 79. Brinkley hit about 78. Russellville, 79. But across Arkansas, currently it's about 75 in Fayetteville, Little Rock around 75. And here in Searcy, feels like 75. Sky is perfectly clear. Humidity sits at a relative 43% and the, the wind is pretty calm coming from the south and southwest at about 5 miles an hour. But on the surface map today, uh, not much over here over the state of Arkansas, but tomorrow this low pressure system up to our north will make its way into the state, bringing just a little bit of rainfall as we move across the next 24 hours. But tonight the temperatures should remain around 59 degrees. The skies just cloud up just a bit as that low pressure system slowly makes its way into the state. But over the next 12 hours, temperature will steadily drop just a tad bit, slowly making its way down from about 75 where it is right now to about 62 degrees around 4 a.m. Tomorrow, that low pressure system is going to get here rather quickly, bringing just a little bit of disturbance, as you can see, off to our west. So far, we are in the yellow polygon, which indicates just a higher bit of severe weather potential. But tomorrow, across your hourly forecast, sky is going to remain clear until around about 1 p.m. Temperature is going to be around 71 when the rainfall moves in, and that's going to stay for just a tad bit, bringing rainfall up to the state, and temperatures are going to drop just a bit. But tomorrow, temperature is going to be around 75 for most of the day. Sky is going to be cloudy, but not too cloudy as it's, until the rainfall moves into the state, dropping temperatures once again. But over t tomorrow's hourly forecast, after the system moves in, it's going to stay until possibly the next day, and it might stay for two to three days as the temperature is going to continue to drop to around 64 degrees. Uh, tomorrow's severe risk is going to be just a little bit enhanced. Off to our west, we are in the slight region, which means our potential is up to about 10% for severe weather. As the surface map indicates, this low pressure system is going to push its way through the state, pushing the severe weather off to our east on Thursday, leaving our potential lower just a tad bit to about 5% for severe weather. So thankful for that. And for Thursday, there you go, we're in the 5% margin, which is indicated by the green polygon on the surface map. But severe weather, when it comes to the state, I want to educate you here just a little bit. It's going to mostly moves up from the southeast up through the middle of the state, and that's where you get your I-40 corridor, as it's dubbed. That's where severe weather is mostly going to strike. But moving into your five-day forecast, as you can see, that system is going to move in on Wednesday night, moving into Thursday. Friday, it's going to stay with about a 30% chance of storms. But after that, that's going to leave your Easter weekend beautiful.